Okay, this is a quick video on uh, Brain's uh, dynamic power scaling feature and how to use it and con configure it with um, aftermarket fans like inline duct fans or maybe like immersion or any other kind of fan you might be putting on that's not stock. Um, I would say it's maybe smart to set this up on, with the stock fans on, like do all these settings with the stock fans on and then switch to your aftermarket stuff just so that you're ready to scale down in power if you need to. Um, if the fan, if whatever fan you're putting on isn't keeping up, um, but anyway, we'll get right into it. The first thing you're gonna need to get Brains downloaded on your miner. Um, there's other videos for that, but we'll go into it. But once you're in that, get logged into your miner. Go to configuration. Um, go to temperature and fans, and then these are the temperature thresholds that we're gonna set up um, to keep the the miner at optimum temps so it doesn't overheat. Uh, target temperature actually doesn't affect us. This only works with fans that can be adjusted for speed, which most aftermarket stuff aren't going to have that functionality. So this number is pretty relevant. I just put it at 85. It needs to be lower than this one or it won't work. Um, but the hot temperature becomes the actual target temperature in this kind of setup. So I'll take this default that's 89 over here, which is what Brains is suggesting to keep the chip temp at, and we'll just put 89 as the hot temp. So when the miner gets above 89 degrees Celsius, it'll trigger a um, scaling event, like a dynamic power scaling event, and it will drop in wattage and um, try and see if it can sustain at a lower uh, wattage level and not overheat. Uh, dangerous temperature, I've got it at 97. It probably doesn't matter because it, the dynamic power scaling will make sure that it doesn't go above 89. It should just continue to, to go down, so we never should get anywhere near that dangerous temperature. Um, and then you got to make sure we've got fans set to zero um, because there won't be, this is just spoofing the fans, the, the stock fans that are on your miner to make sure that it that it's not looking for them. So it'll allow it to run with zero fans. Um, yeah, so just hit that, click save and apply. Um, and then you need to go to performance. Um, for some reason I've got mine set at 1200, but PSU up here, um, the default is 1420 or 1420. I've got mine set to 1420. Um, you could make that lower just depending on what power supply you have. I think this is usually pretty automated. Um, but you need to make sure you've got uh, enable auto tuning set up um, and enable dynamic power scaling. This is where this is where this is all about. Okay, this right here is the amount of watts that the miner is going to reduce by every time it triggers a scaling event. Um, so I've got mine set to 20. I used to set it to 100, but that's kind of a big jump and it seems like you want it set a little lower so you can get it to creep up to the absolute max amount of like wattage that it will be able to run on your cooling system that you have. So the minimum PSU power limit I have set to 400 because I just don't want my miner running lower than 400. Um, if, so, if it's going that low, at least in my setup, there must be something else wrong. So I just want to find out what's wrong. Um, and I'm gonna have mine turn off when it hits that and turn off for three hours. This stuff's not as important. But once you got these done, just hit save and apply. And that should be it. Okay, so we just adjusted all those settings. It's actually been a few minutes on this miner, but um, you can see it's going through uh, power scaling. This is a power scaling event where it dropped, it got too warm. It started at 1420 and we're down to 1344. And the way I've got this set up, it's gonna to have to go down to like close to 1100 watts. So it'll just slowly keep doing this to get down there um, until it hits a sustainable level. But I was gonna mention that the chips will need to tune in between dynamic power scaling events. So every time it triggers a, a, um, a drop like this, the chips are gonna need to tune. From what I've seen, it doesn't take very long. Um, it's not like the, the full blown, uh, when you first fire up brains and do a uh, auto tuning, that takes like up to eight hours or something. This usually takes like 15 minutes, but they will need to tune after they've, they've dropped for a few minutes. 